Okay, hi everyone. Uh, I'm Eric Traub, and today I'm going to talk to you about GridFS. Uh, does anybody know what GridFS is? Okay, we got one person. All right, cool. Well, we've got a lot to learn. So let's get into it. Uh, <coughs> so what is GridFS? Uh, GridFS is basically an API provided by MongoDB, uh, which, making, which makes storing large files like video, images, audio, uh, it makes storing those in a Mongo database a lot easier. Uh, it's an NPM package that can be plugged into any application uh, to make storing the files easier, and it provides a way for storing large files uh, in a database versus in a file system. Um, <coughs> so there's a problem with storing files in MongoDB without GridFS. And that problem is that there's a 16 megabyte document limit uh, in MongoDB, so you can't put a document in there that's greater than 16 uh, megabytes. If you try to do that, the operation will fail, and the uh, server will throw an error. So how to solve the problem? Uh, GridFS solves this problem uh, by breaking the file up into smaller chunks, uh, and then it stores these chunks into one collection called FS chunks, and then it stores the information about the file itself in a different collection called FS files. And then it connects um, these different parts of the file uh, by properties on each document. Uh, and I'll show that in a second. Cool. So if you're having trouble conceptualizing this, this is basically <coughs> what's going on in the database. Uh, in the FS files collection, there's one file uh, that has all the metadata about the file and all the information. And then the actual data um, from the file is stored in the FS chunks. And it's broken up into separate chunks, and they're all stored in the FS chunks collection. Uh, so in the FS chunks collection, uh, each chunk is defaulted to about 255 kilobytes in size. Uh, and the number of chunks that's created uh, just depends on how big the file is. So you could have one chunk, you could have 30 chunks. It just depends on the size of the file. Um, this is where the actual data of the file is stored, like I just mentioned. Uh, and each chunk is linked to the information about the file in the FS files collection uh, by a property on each chunk called files underscore ID. Uh, and like I said, that points to the document in the FS files collection. So in the FS files collection, uh, this is where the information about the, files, the file is stored uh, and includes things like name, the file name, the date uploaded, uh, chunk size, the total length of the file, which is in bytes, and then file metadata, which is uh, optional. So this is just uh, an example of a chunk that you might find in the FS chunks collection. It has the ID of the chunk, uh, it has the files underscore ID, and this is what I mentioned points to uh, the document in the FS files collection. Uh, this N right here is the chunk number, so let's say a file was broken up into 20 chunks, this would be chunk 15 out of 20, and then data is just the payload um, as a bison binary type. And then <coughs> This is an example of a document you might find in the FS files collection. It uh, has a lot of stuff that we've seen through our time here. It has an ID, file name, uh, the size, uh, and it has aliases, metadata, which you can set, but they're optional. So, uh, And then real quick, I'm just going to run you guys through basically an example of storing a file in MongoDB with GridFS and then retrieving that file out of MongoDB. Um, so basically, <coughs> Uh, this is a little application that I made. Um, basically, what we're going to do is we're going to store this uh, swimming video uh, that I have. It's not me, somebody else. But uh, we're going to store this video into the database, and then we're just going to retrieve it. Uh, so up here, we establish our connection with Mongo. Uh, we require GridFS. We require the file system module, which we're going to use to create read streams and write streams. And then this part is important, the video path here. This is uh, where to find the video in the file system that we're going to store to the database. So basically, it's just saying, look in the read from folder, which is right here, and choose this video, 200 back. Uh, we're going to connect to the database, or we are going to <coughs> uh, connect GridFS and Mongo. And then once the connection is open, uh, we're going to create a write stream uh, with the name to store the file as in the database. So in the database, this video is going to be stored as swimvid. Uh, you can name it whatever you want. It doesn't have to be. Uh, the name that it has in the file system. Uh, <coughs> and then we're going to create a read stream down here uh, from where the video currently is, which is the video path. And we're going to pipe it into the database through the write stream. Uh, and then we get the video, or we get the file back, and we're just going to console log out the name. So I'm going to run that real quick. Um, <coughs> actually, before I do that, you should see that 
There is no uh, database called gridfs currently. Uh, and once I run this operation, there should be. So connection is open, and it should be writing to the database. Cool. So if I check the databases, there it is. GridFS database, so we're going to use that. And we're going to check out what's in there. There should be a FS files collection and FS uh, chunks collection. Oh. Yeah, cool. So we're just going to check out what's inside of here, inside of these collections real quick. So DB. So this is the document of the file that I just uploaded. It has everything that I just went over. Uh, now we're going to check out what's in the chunks collection. Yeah, so there's a lot of data <laughs> inside of here, as you can tell. So what I'm going to do just to make it more readable is I'm going to take out the data. And you can see that these are all the chunks now. The other data, you can see that it got broken up to uh, into 19 different chunks, and then this is the FS uh, or the files underscore ID property, which links to uh, the file that it's a part of. You can see that they all have this same ID here in this property. Cool. So <clears throat> now I'm just going to retrieve that video out of the database, and basically it's a lot of the same stuff that we just did, except we're just reading and writing from uh, opposite places. Um, we're going to let's see. I'm going to create uh, a write stream, uh, and this is basically saying we're going to write it to this write folder, or write to folder right here, which you can see is currently empty, and we're just going to call it uh, 200 back from database. And then this is the read stream. We're saying get this uh, file with the file name swimvid from the database, and then we're just going to pipe the read stream into the write stream, and after this operation, we should have a video in here called 200 back from DB. So I'm just going to run that real quick. Cool. So if I open this, we've got our video, and it's loading. And uh, <coughs> that's just about everything for this introduction for uh, <coughs> GridFS. There's some, uh, here's some resources you guys can check out if you want to learn some more about GridFS and MongoDB. Thank you. Any questions? <coughs>